Hello again, fellow warriors. My name is Tori, and I'm the yoga instructor for Texas a and Central Texas. And today, I thought we might do a faster pace, a little bit more of a challenging class. So I still want to encourage um, beginners to try something new if they feel comfortable with it. Um, however, um, a disclaimer, I'm probably not going to be doing the most intensive stuff that some will be really excited about. Um, just to be fair, I lost a lot of mobility for a little while there, and I'm not quite as like <sighs> fiery as I used to be with my practice. So bear with me, please, and let that be a lesson that you can try difficult things just to feel confident that you'll get better at them again. So um, yeah, let's try to move a little bit quicker today. Um, I want to try and see if we can break a little bit of a sweat. Um, but, uh, but, oh gosh, don't expect like the most. Okay, remember, this is a place without judgment, even self-judgment, a place without expectation. Um, and we're just gonna move and we're gonna breathe. And if something doesn't feel right, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take some water, always having water nearby. And all we can do is try, okay? All we can do is try. So let's plant the feet strong beneath us, move the body weight a little bit forward, a little bit back, soften the knees, build up the spine, roll the shoulders back and let the arms feel heavy to your side, mountain. Inhale, rise, nice and tall, lift the rib cage, maybe lean a little bit back, find a neutral spine, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, release, this time bringing the hips down uh, closer to the level of the knees, and then inhale, swing the palms forward to pause, just above shoulder height, chair pose. Inhale, rise, nice and tall, maybe a back bend. Find neutral, exhale, dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, squat down about hip, knee level, closer. Inhale, rise, and then pause, hold, chair pose. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, maybe back bend. Find neutral, forward fold. Okay, inhale, half lift. Exhale, find your chair. Inhale, rise, hold. Inhale, extend. Exhale, maybe back bend. Last time, neutral, forward fold. One more chair. We're going to rise to our half lift. Exhale to sink the hip. Swing the palms forward, hold, rise to standing, exhale, inhale, neutral. And this last time we fold all the way down, rise up to our half lift, find neutral, drop heavy. Okay, left leg extends long behind us, right knee is safe, rise up nice and tall, palms to the sky, hips neutral. Remember, we're not dumping the hips back and we're not pushing the hips forward, we're neutral. Okay, let's exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Hold strong in the core. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Just hold. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, let's try this one more time. Rise up to warrior three. Reach. Sorry, warrior one. My goodness. Relax the shoulders. All right. Exhale, forward fold. Right foot meets the left foot, lower the hips in line with shoulders and heels. We've got high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, try to rise to full cobra, holding strong in the core and then pushing through the hands. Okay, exhale to release. Find your way to downward facing dog, pushing the hips back to, uh, up to the sky, pushing the heart back to the knees. Okay, sorry, that's my cat, don't mind him. Okay, let's swing the left leg high behind us. Step forward with the left leg. Settle the knee safe over the ankle. Strong legs, balance between the feet. We'll rise to warrior one, first time. Neutral hips, strong core, shoulders away from the ears. And you've got it. Strong breath. Exhale, fold. Remember, we're gonna do two more warrior ones. Inhale, rise. Getting used to hinging from that hip. Okay. Exhale, fold. Last time, 
rising up, warrior one. Strong in the core, neutral hips, shoulders down. Exhale, fold. Awesome, let's go to high plank. Let's chaturanga. Let's make our way to full cobra, first lifting with just the abdominal strength and then pushing through the hands. Exhale to release, make your way to downward facing dog. Awesome, hold strong, push the heart back towards the knees. Let's see if we can try some really challenging crunches here because I said we were gonna break a sweat, so let's, let's do it. Let's swing the right leg high behind us. We're gonna exhale, come forward like we are in a high plank and bring the knee towards our nose. Inhale, kick up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, inhale. Exhale, let's do this two more times. Exhale, swing up and back and drop the toe. Pedal out the knee. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's try five crunches on the left side. Swing the left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Up and back, plant the heel, pedal out the knees. Okay, let's drop the knees to the ground, untuck the toes, drop to a child's pose just to catch your breath for a moment to relax the elbows and shoulders. Let's try to walk the hands back to where our feet are. Drop the elbows wide to our side, let the shoulders feel the weight of gravity. And breathe, it kind of feels like we're folded up a little bit like a turtle here. So if that helps you relax, think of a turtle. <sighs> okay. We got this, we're gonna break a sweat. We're gonna sweep the hands way forward. Okay, look forward to where the hands are. Now we're gonna try a low plank flow by inhaling, bringing the hands way in front of us and then swinging the shoulders over the wrists, lowering the hips in a low plank. So we're not gonna dump into the hips. We're gonna keep the abdominals strong. If you like, you can try half of a push-up. I know my push-ups look weak, but we're not going all the way into a push-up. Just a little bit, inhale, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, come forward, low plank, hold strong. Optional, tiny, tiny push-up. Exhale, child's pose. Okay, let's try this three more times. Inhale, exhale. Don't judge me, okay? My elbows are kind of a mess. Last time. And let's come back to our child's pose. Let's look forward to our hands and this time rise into downward facing dog. Remember, fingertips are spread out wide. Pedal out the knees. Awesome. When you're ready, swing the right leg high behind us. Step forward, long lunge. So we're gonna drop the back knee to the ground, untuck the back toe, and rise up into a low lunge. We're gonna create a sweeping breath and a great twist here. So our right knee is in front of us, we're gonna turn to our right side first. When we exhale, swing the right hand low behind the hip, drop both palms to shoulder height, and really turn that at the belly button. Look back to your right thumb. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, left palm leads the way. Shoulder height, look at the thumb. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, right hand. Inhale. Exhale, left hand. Inhale. One more time, right hand. And last time, left hand. Come back to neutral. Forward fold. Tuck the back toe under, lift the back knee. Find your high plank. Chaturanga. Cobra, slow and steady. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and then release. Downward facing dog. <sighs> awesome, pedal out the knees. We're gonna try all that on the left side. Swing the left leg high behind us. Step forward and through, knee is safe. Bring the right knee down and tuck the right toe. Rise, low lunge. Okay, this time the left knee is in front of us, so we start on our left side. Remember, hips are neutral here, okay? We're not dropping the belly button out. We're gonna tuck it in. 
Hold strong in the core. Okay, left hand low. Do the thumb. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, right hand leads. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale. One more time on each side. Left hand. Okay, left, oh, right hand. Spine neutral. Forward fold. Okay, let's hold this lunge for a second. We're going to rock and roll um, with our hips, quads, and hamstrings. So let's extend that front leg long by walking our body weight back. I'm kind of rounding my spine a little bit here, but we want to try and keep a straight spine. Toe to the sky. Take a bow if you can. Oh, that hamstring. Okay, we've got extended dragon. We'll come to neutral with the knee. We're going to plant the heel of the palm in line with the big toe and then push the knee forward over the toe. Okay, this is the only time I like ever cue this for overstepping dragon because normally we want to keep the knee in line with our ankle. We've got a lot of control here with our hands. We can trust ourselves to hold. So now let's see if we can rock and roll with this. So we'll find neutral on the inhale. Exhale to extend. Inhale to neutral. Exhale over step. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last time we're going to come forward and we'll find neutral. We'll tuck the back toe under, lift the knee, find high plank, chaturanga, cobra, release. Okay, find downward facing dog. <sighs> Okay, right leg rises, step forward, knee is safe, tuck the back knee under. We'll try our, our dragons here. So let's extend this first time holding for a couple of breaths, just to decide how the calf muscle and how the hamstring feel today. Because Remember, we do want to challenge ourselves. We're not trying to bully the body into something it's not ready for. So we're listening always to our own body first, no matter what I cue, no matter what I cue for you, uh, we're listening to the body first. We'll come to neutral, okay, plant the heel of the palm in line with the big toe, sink the weight of the hips and that knee, move it extra forward, okay, hopefully we don't go too far beyond the toe, we find ourselves in overstepping dragon, really stretching the uh, quad muscles in that left leg behind us. Okay, breathe, you got this. We're gonna rock and roll. We're gonna inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's do this two more times. You got this. Working on that hip mobility that I mentioned on Monday. Awesome. Come to neutral. Tuck the toe under. Find high plank. Chaturanga. Find cobra. And let's find our tabletop. So, look at the tabletop, keep the knees. Rock the body weight a little bit side to side, rock out the wrist, rock out the ankles, soften the elbows. Remember, we don't want the eyes turning forward, we want the eyes and the elbows facing each other. Okay, cat and cow. Inhale, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, sweep the belly to the side. Inhale. And exhale, cow pose and cat pose. Awesome. All right, working on that spinal mobility. We'll come back to our neutral place. Let's go ahead and come down into a seated posture and keep the legs long before us. Okay. So while the legs are out long in front of us, we can keep the knees strong or we can soften them a little bit. No matter what we do, heels are touching the mat, 
And we're gonna excuse me, flatten the feet towards the room in front of us like we wanna step off of a wall. Um, so soft or strong, heels are still in contact, feet are still flat either way. Build up the spine, tall and proud. Let's exhale, walk the weight of the body forward. Remember, we're pushing our heart forward, looking straight ahead of us. Uh, to try to encourage keeping the spine as straight as we can. We're pushing that space in our body. Okay, let's go ahead and inhale, rise. Put a bend in that right knee and let the knee fall open to our side. So it's half of a butterfly pose here. And the foot can meet the inner thigh. And now when we inhale, we'll build up the spine. As we exhale, we'll take a bow. Bringing the heart forward, just focusing on the hamstring and our left leg for a moment. Oof, trying really hard not to dump our shoulders forward. We're trying to keep them back and out of our way. Because it, it would be too easy to round the spine with the weight of the shoulders just Build up tall, we'll exchange the legs, stand the right, stand the right knee, extend the leg, bend the left knee, and drop. Build up the spine, exhale, take a bow, and then forward. Okay, we're just trying to give some love to those hamstrings for a moment. I promise we'll get back to breaking of sweat. Proud, put a bend in both knees so that the feet are flat, knees are standing before us, and we're going to move in and out of our boat poses today. Um, so we, I like to call it our boat to hollow man. Other people call it boat to low boat, um, but we're going to build up the spine tall, lean the heart back at an angle. Now you can set the hands at the mat for balance purposes. But I find when we start extending our legs, it might be easier to have the hands close by those knees to help you kind of maintain that balance better. Whatever you like in boat, the heart has leaned back, so we're going to lift the heels off of the ground and find ourselves in boat pose. Now to get to hollow man or low boat, we're going to inhale and extend the body, hands and legs. We're going to exhale to crunch and try to balance. What I meant by having hands nearby just to kind of whoo, lock in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale whoo, and exhale. Keep on going. Boat to hollow man or boat to low boat. All right. We're creating a lot of space with our body. Trying our best to keep the spine straight, but I know what it's like. Getting in and out of this posture. Staying easy. Be where you can be. Have patience. And finally, plant the heels to the ground. Let the knees fall into our diamond shape for butterfly. Soles of the feet are together. We're taking some of that pressure off of the inner thigh, off of the low abdominals. We'll build up the spine tall. Send the heart forward. Press the elbows onto the knees just to kind of help add a little extra gravity, a little extra weight. What I mean by that is that we're not forcing, we're not pushing down, um, but the extra gravity in the weight of our arms will help expand that spine stretch a little bit in the inner thigh. <sighs> All right, from here let's build up nice and tall, stand the knees to the sky, let's roll back from the mat. Okay, Make sure we have a long spine here, so really extend out the spine, hips to shoulders, shoulders to neck. Okay, so shoulders are relaxed down from the ears. Let's go ahead and let both of the knees fall to our right side. And then open up the hands either in goal post arm or way out wide into a letter T. All right, and we're just going to let the left hip back over the right. And these hands spread out wide are trying to keep our shoulders level to the ground. Okay, and once we've settled where the hips are resting, we can turn the face back to our left side of the room. And if you've started on the opposite side, that's fine. Just let the face um, turn in the opposite direction of the knees. That's all we're doing here. Ah, yep. 
inhale and exhale. We're starting to cool down. So we're going to breathe and we're going to have patience with ourselves. We're going to relax the eyes, relax the jaw, kind of catch pace with our breath a little bit. Notice where it's at. And in the process of watching the breath, we might feel ourselves um, relax a little bit more. As that breath tends to settle down. Okay. Let's roll the knees to the sky, turn the face to the sky. Let the knees roll to your left side. Right hip takes over, um, stacking over the left. And then the face can turn back to our right side. All right, so we're just creating this great big twist in our abdominals um, and along our spine, um, just to try to open up. Um, a lot of times when we do abdominal work, I know that we only did you know boat to low boat, um, but when we do abdominal work, we find ourselves holding tension afterwards for an extended period of time. So if you enjoy having that muscle tension to feel like you put in some good work, that's okay too. You don't have to stay in these twists as long. Um, but twists are ideal for letting go of that residual tension um, or easing up on it at least. Um, if you find yourself struggling to relax after a workout, um, then I don't judge. Some people have a hard time relaxing after they work out. Some people relax because they worked out. Whatever, whatever. All right. When we're ready, let's come back to neutral. Stand the knees to the sky, level the hips, level the shoulders. Make sure the shoulders are still dropped away from the ears. And let's go ahead and bring our right knee into our chest and really hug that knee and that shin bone super duper close to our heart, to our belly. And then let's cross our right ankle at the shin bone over the left thigh. We're not dumping into the ankle. We're not turning the sole of the foot towards ourselves. We are pointing our right knee towards that right side of the room. And then we're flattening our right foot to the left side of the room. So flat foot, pointed knee. And we're going to really soak in this moment, this hip opener. On our right side in a number four shape. So it looks like the top of a number four uh, flips upside down. That's what we're aiming for. Flat foot, pointing knee, and hold that number four. In fact, if this is too slow for you, um, after doing a little more breathing, maybe you sway it a little bit. Um, you can rock and roll those hips and knees side to side, rocking number fours. Um, if you've had a recent hip or knee injury, and it is just too much to focus on all at once. You don't have to move and you don't have to stay here. Um, it is just an attempt to ease up the hip joint a little bit. Okay, a little hip mobility. Okay, come to neutral. Plant the right foot to the ground. We're gonna do the same thing. Hug the left knee into the chest. Hug that knee towards the heart, the belly. Really squeeze. And let's go ahead and release the shin bone across the thigh bone so that the ankle is free to move. We're going to flatten that left foot to our right side of the room like we want to step off of the wall. And then we're going to point the left knee to the left side of the room. So even if we have to push the knee away from the body a little bit, we're going to try and find that stretch in the front of the um, thigh, in the front of the hip joint we're looking for in our number four. Okay. And again, we can hold still. We can remove ourselves if it doesn't feel right. But we're still a little antsy. We can rock and roll side to side with that number four. Okay, trying to hold that shin bone parallel to the body. Uh, the knee points at one wall. Heel drives at the other. And that leg's strong. Okay, slowing easy. We're going to 
come back into our neutral place. We're going to plant the heel. And we're finally going to move into final relaxation. So uh, we've got lots of different postures. We've got feet wide, knees together, broken bridge to throw a back pain. Um, we've got the opposite, feet together, knees wide, um, butterfly for the inner thigh and lower abdominals. Um, or we've got Shavasana, uh, spread, spread out like a starfish or gingerbread man. Okay, whatever works for you. We got um, Shavasana, butterfly, or broken bridge. Don't be afraid to change your mind along the way, but moving into final relaxation, we finally soften the face, relax the eyes, relax the jaw, breathe strong and steady. Allow the mind to wander for a while. If you find yourself stuck on one thought or one idea for too long, keep wandering. Move on to the next one. Um, if it helps, you could imagine yourself um, lying in a field somewhere, a nice relaxing one. If you don't like bugs, if you don't like grass, that's fine. Be on a beach in the sand. Whatever you're comfortable with. Imagine yourself in a wide open space, looking up at the sky, clear blue sky. And every thought that passes through your mind is like a cloud in that sky. But a small cloud, not a big one. So that even if your mind is racing with clouds, you can still see the sun, you can still see the blue sky. Those thoughts, those ideas, those feelings might be floating by slowly. They might be zooming by. But that's the point. In our thoughts being clouds, there's no way for us to hold on to them. There's no way for us to judge them. That's a good cloud. That's a bad cloud. That's a weird cloud. No time because they just keep passing. And it is okay if the mind is racing. And it is okay if the mind is trying to hold on to one thought or another. We are simply going to exhale and let it pass. One cloud and then another. Without judgment. Without expectation, without the desire to change those clouds. They just are. They just go. No need at this time to try to control that. slow and steady breaths, now focusing on creating a strong inhale. Strong inhale. We start to become aware of our surroundings again, and we open the eyes slowly, we welcome in the light. We could take a good morning stretch or a great bear hug. 
We can move in the toes and the fingers, rock the head side to side, the hips side to side, but we will all eventually roll over and climb our way into a seated place. Whatever seated place works for us today. Spine tall and proud, root the hips down strong beneath us, feeling grounded, no longer head in the clouds. Coming back into the space and the energy that we need to provide for ourselves today. We are aiming for, of course, positive energy for today. But depending on where you are and what you need, we could also consider um, healing energy. We don't always have to be blindly positive. Sometimes we could just choose to heal, to try. Without judgment and without expectation, we come the, to the end of our practice today. And it is at this time that I'd like to thank you for choosing to share your practice and your time with me here. And again, it is the light within me that honors and bows to the light within you.